Hey, good morning. It is Monday, May the 27th, and our scripture reading today is 2 Chronicles chapters 21 through 24. Let's pray together. God, our King, we love you. Thank you for what you do for us every day. Father, thank you that you have allowed us the breath of life today. And, and Father, as we live, help us to live for you. Like Paul says, help us to be crucified with Christ in the life that we now live. Uh, it belongs to Christ and we live it for Christ because he loved us and gave himself for us. So, Father, help us to do that today in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, here we are in chapter 21. Jehoshaphat dies and his son Jehoram becomes king. Jehoram killed his brothers to secure his place on the throne. He was 32 and he reigned for eight years. He did evil in the sight of the Lord for Ahab's daughter was his wife. Remember, Jehoshaphat made an alliance with Ahab and out of that alliance came this marriage between Jehoram and Ahab's daughter, uh, Jezebel's daughter, Athaliah. All right, so um, an unholy alliance between Jehoshaphat and Ahab had brought about this marriage and subjected Judah to the evils of Jezebel's daughter. Jehoram led Judah astray, and Judah's prominence began to decline. Elijah sent a letter to Jehoram saying, Because you have done evil, the Lord is about to strike your people with a horrific affliction. You yourself will be struck with many illnesses, including a disease of the intestines, until your intestines come out day after day because of this disease. Uh, terrible word, uh, but true nonetheless. The Lord uh, punishes those who do not seek Him and, and do not follow Him. He um, he is against those who are his enemies. The Philistines attack and invade Jerusalem and carry off possessions of the king and his sons. Uh, the possessions of the king carried off his sons and his wives. Only Jehoahaz was left, who was the youngest of the sons. Jehoram died of the disease of the intestines to no one's regret, the scripture says. Chapter 22. Jeho Jehoram's son Ahaziah becomes king and reigns one year. He walked in the ways of Ahab, king of Israel, because Ahab's daughter, Athaliah, was his mother, and she gave him evil advice. He joined his uncle Joram, who was king of Israel at the time, in a war against Aram. Jehu, son of Nimshi, assassinated both Joram and Ahaziah. Athaliah, Ahaziah's mother, assumed the throne of Judah and killed all of the royal heirs except for Joash, who was one year old. Joash is rescued from Athaliah by Jehoshabiah, Beath. He was hidden away for six years. Jehoiada, the priest, brought out Joash when he was seven years old and presented him to the priests and Levites and unveiled his plan to overthrow Athaliah and place Joash, the true king, on the throne. Jehoiada executed his plan and had Athaliah killed. Jehoiada sought to return the people to serving God and they tore down the temple of Baal. <clears throat> Chapter 24, Joash was seven years old when he became king and he reigned 40 years. Throughout the time of the priest Jehoiada, Joash did what was right in the Lord's sight. Joash took it to heart to renovate the Lord's temple. He placed a tax on the people to raise the money to do the work and the temple was restored. After Jehoiada's death, though, Joash allowed the people to persuade him to abandon the Lord and serve the Baals and Asherahs. When Jehoiada's son Zechariah spoke out against him, saying, Because you have abandoned the Lord, he has abandoned you, Joash had him killed. God brought judgment on Joash and Judah by allowing them to be overthrown by an Aramean army with only a few men. Joash was severely wounded and his servants conspired against him and killed him. His son Amaziah became king in his place. All right, so our thought for today. Uh, just one thought about um, Joash. He began well and, and lived most of his life well, but then he, he turned against God. And when he turned against God, God allowed him to be overthrown. Uh, so here's the, the thought. Always be faithful. Um, just like we, we talked about a couple of days ago, uh, stay true, be faithful because your work has a reward. Our thought for today, neglecting the Bible and ceasing to obey it has caused many to lose their spiritual direction. And Christ is portrayed by Jehoiada, the high priest, 
who faithfully hid and protected Joash. Jesus is our high priest. We are hid with Christ in God. That's Colossians 3, verse 3. God bless you. Have a great day.